working with Parks Canada and other agencies to establish a system of protected areas in our settlement region has been successful because our people wanted these areas and their culture protected and this cooperation plays a major part in guaranteeing our rights to a traditional lifestyle of hunting, fishing and trapping. The national parks that have been created and will be created within the settlement region will contribute to that fa the family of national parks that exists and in, contribute in a significant way because of one, because of the uh, land areas. They're quite large uh, relative to the parks down south. And also because the areas truly are a significant in terms of the ecosystems that are there and the wildlife species that are there. there uh, Evavik, for instance, is, is almost unparalleled in, in Canada in terms of biodiversity. And certainly the uh, park on Banks Island as well is, is a very important uh, wildlife habitat. In order for us to prosper, we must ensure that our connection to the land remains strong. The Inuvialuit final agreement established management boards which have Inuvialuit and government representation. This means we share the responsibility of managing our lands and wildlife with specialists from different government agencies. Along with the Inuvialuit Game Council, five co-management bodies were established. Those are the Fisheries Joint Management Committee, the Wildlife Management Advisory Council for the NWT, the Wildlife Management Advisory Council for the North Slope in the Yukon, the Environmental Impact Screening Committee, and the Environmental Impact Review Board. The Game Council is charged with the responsibility of representing the collective Inuvialuit interest in all matters relating to wildlife. The Game Council, which is 100% Inuvialuit, includes a chairperson and two representatives from each of the six communities within the ISR. They, in turn, appoint the Inuvialuit members to these committees, which have 50% Inuvialuit and 50% government representation. Focusing on research helps determine wildlife population and establishes harvest quotas and other special management guidelines as required. Inuvialuit are also involved as employees of Parks Canada and other government agencies working on park operations or research projects. National Parks is just not of uh, people out in the land or patrolmen or warden. We've got uh, biologists, geologists, archaeologists uh, in that field. We've also got um, people who work in the offices, support staff like um, data managers, uh, computer experts, um, admin officers. So, so it's a it, um, Parks Canada has a wide array of career opportunities uh, for people who would like to work with parks. The land, wildlife and people are all part of what makes the Inuvialuit Settlement Region a special place. Protecting wildlife and its habitat ensures that we will have a place in the future. This land contributes to the overall Canadian culture. By maintaining a strong bond between our environment and culture, we provide an opportunity for not just other Canadians, but people from around the world to experience the Western Arctic. As Inuvialuit, we have the responsibility to work with others to protect our land and our culture and to encourage future generations to accept this responsibility. Our elders, they lived out in the bush and 
they were raised out there. They know how to take care of the land and they know how to keep it. And I think it's very important that we go back to the sources. I think that's our first step is getting the awareness. And then therefore we can move on from there. But it's really important that we be more involved with what's happening. It, we really have to be more involved from managing our, our natural resources to harvesting. That is very important for us to, um, to better be able to manage our resources so that they'll always be there. The most important thing we have is our land and our waters. And because we have looked after them, they have supported us for many generations. This is something our ancestors have always known, knowledge that has been shared through the years. If we continue to ensure our lands and waters are properly cared for, they will support us for many more generations to come.